Well, folks, we're just a couple of weeks away at this point from the very first presidential debate, June 27th, Donald Trump versus President Biden. Or maybe not, right? I mean, ever since the two finally agreed on this debate, um, things have happened. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, Donald Trump did get convicted of 34 felonies and he's facing a sentencing hearing on July 11th. So that may throw a wrench into this upcoming debate. In fact, it prompted this question from one of our viewers. This is from user DH8ST2HW2Q. Simple, easy to remember username right there. Uh, no, I'm just joking with you. But the question is, do you think Trump will back out of the debate with Joe? And do I think he will? No. Do I think he should to save face? Yes. Now here's what I'm saying. Donald Trump obviously was begging for these debates for months and months and months and months. And Biden finally agreed, challenged him, gave him the dates, the venue, all of that. Trump said yes. So if Trump backs out, obviously that's going to look bad for him, right? Well, maybe not because Trump has actually been given a beautiful opportunity to back out of this debate while still making himself look like he's coming out on top. And of course it'll save face with his base moderate and independent voters, probably not, but with his base, they'll think he's being smart. So here's what he does or could do, should do. If I'm his advisors, this is what I'm telling him to do. Announce that you were not going to participate in a debate with the man who had you criminally convicted. That's it. That's what you do. You say this man is so corrupt, so evil. He directed this, you know, Manhattan prosecutor that he has no control over to prosecute me, indict me, convict me, and now sentence me in a couple weeks. I will not do it. I will not give that man the time of day because he's not worth my time. If Trump did that, his base would go wild. They would love it. You may even get a couple moderates and independents who say, okay, wow, that's, that's a bold statement. Now, of course, none of it's true, right? Biden did not direct the prosecution conviction of Donald Trump in any way. But Trump's been saying it since the very beginning. He's been saying it, you know, up until probably a couple hours ago. So he's already put that talking point out there. Other Republicans are talking about that. So use that to your advantage, because if you don't, if you show up for that debate, do you know what they're going to ask you? They're going to ask you about your criminal conviction. And president Biden could sit there the whole time and bring it up in every response he gives. Not to mention Biden could nail him with a zinger at the very end of the debate. You know, when they each give their closing statements, Biden should end it by saying, oh, and by the way, good luck on your sentencing hearing next week. And the crowd would go crazy, right? That would be a viral moment that would go all over social media. So Trump has everything to lose and nothing to gain from this debate. <clears throat> if he's smart, he would back out, but he's not. So he probably will participate. I think he should back out because it is not going to end well for him if he shows up.